Howdy, it's Regan here for Corgalope, and I'd like to talk about how I store faux fur to avoid crimping. As you can see here, folding can lead to deep grooves in your faux fur. This can be corrected with heat, but let's avoid this by using a bolt. Technically, a bolt refers to a unit of measurement, but for now, we'll use it to refer to the tube the fabric will be stored on. I get my bolts by buying marine fabric from fabric.com. Marine vinyl is super tough, it's used on boats, so it's great for indoor paw pads. Order a yard from fabric.com and we'll ship it to you on one of these tubes. Now let's roll this fur. Lay your fur out with the backing facing up and the fur direction moving away from you. Lay your bolt down on top of the fur, a few inches away from the edge. Start rolling slowly and tightly. You want to make sure the fur is snug to the tube and rolling straight so that it doesn't slide off. Once you get the rolling started, you can pick up the pace. Make sure to check the far side of the bolt to make sure the fur is tight to the tube and still rolling straight. Notice how the fur fibers are being pressed down in their natural direction. This will keep them from separating and forming deep creases. Here you can see the completed bolt. The fur is wrapped tightly around the tube, fur fibers protected. I tend to use bolts for fur three yards or longer. So what do I do with small pieces? I roll them up just like a bolt without the tube in the middle. This tends to avoid the creasing issue. You can always fold your faux fur, especially if we'll be, you'll be using it soon. I try to avoid folding the fur across the width, as I found this is where the creases form the easiest. I hope this has been informative. Rolling your fur onto bolts is a great way of preventing damage and saving space.